Got a Elcon with Pearl Snap discount here with director Yaki Smith, who's film Katrina's son just continues to win awards <laughs> and also Wolf's coming up soon very soon in fact yes it is so let's start with we were just talking about one of your students mm -hmm. who just happened to also win an award you want to talk about her yes uh, Julie Gould who was a student of mine about a year and a half ago she just won the best Texas short uh, film at South by Southwest for a film that she uh, she started the film in my class, uh, a version of it, and then she sort of went back and remade it and uh, did another version. I told her, you have something special here, Julie, uh, and she made it, and it's, it's amazing that she's winning, so I'm, I'm really excited for her. And it's kind of interesting because you both will be at DIP, mm -hmm. which, I mean, that's you won't be in competition, but, I mean, Katrina Sun will be there. It's, it's going to be a great festival. It is. I'm excited to be a part of it. I am. Uh, well, I mean, you're up for an audience award, right? I am. I am. I'm, I'm not in competition, but I am up for an audience award. So we'll see. Maybe we can maybe we can snag another audience award. I mean, that's a powerful movie, and we've talked about it in the past, that it's it's a great performance from Young Star, but it's also, it's gripping just because of what he has to go through. And you're someone who's traveled and gone away. And, I mean, what do you, think, what do you feel about that film, perception-wise, for people? Because it's... It's hard. To, I mean, it's hard to get through that film. It is. You know, it's it's a uh, it's not a film that um, I think most people consider film festival film festival flair, and so it, it is a difficult film to watch. It's 15 minutes of uh, probably heartbreak and heartache uh, as you sort of go on this journey with this little boy who has nothing. But I, the thing I love about it is that at the end of the film, everywhere that we screen. Um, People really, really receive it, and they come up to me and they say, thank you for making this film. Not only because it's about Hurricane Katrina, but also because it's about just a homeless you know, kid. And there's so many homeless kids out there, and there's so many kids who don't know where their parents are, and and, la -da 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 -da. and, and so people really, really get it. it. It arrests people. I was telling you earlier that that's a film that arrests you, that, that, that is sort of a call to action, and it makes people want to do something. And that's what I think films should be anyway. Well, call to action. You're new film is a call to action after you saw film. It is. Um, I saw Deliver Us From Evil, a documentary uh, that uh, was about a priest who had molested children and the children that he molested. And when I saw that film, I mean, uh, talking about being arrested, it arrested me. I could not take my eyes off of this. I, on the, on the documentary, uh, who his daughter was molested, I remember him saying, I don't believe that there's a God. And when he said that, uh, it made me stand up and, and I sat up in the bed. I was like, I have to make this film. I have to make a film about this because I think uh, that's very dangerous. Because uh, for me, I, I, I am a true believer in God. And I think there are a lot of people who have been turned away, turned off from God because of things that their pastors or their leaders have done to them. And for me, um, I don't think that's right. You know, because your relationship with the man of God and God should be two different things. But it, it chronicles their struggle to deal with it and how sort of they eventually come back together, a stronger family unit uh, in the end. So, And this is something that you're switching back to feature, and it's also something that you're shooting very soon. Yes. Uh, we're shooting, uh, j we start shooting, I think it's July 25th in San Antonio. Uh, and it's scary because it's my first feature first feature film and it's so different from a short because a short you know you shoot it over like five days you get in you get out uh, this is a huge undertaking I've never done this before and so just all the logistics of it um, they're overwhelming at times but I have a lot of people around me who are helping me put it together and I'm learning so much so that in the end when it's all said and done it's time to go to the next film so it's good.